is the SD card reading speed real or not? In this video, I'm going to test it out. We're going to test the SanDisk Extreme Pro, which states it goes up to 200 megabytes a second. And we're going to test the Samsung Pro Plus, which states it reads up to 180 and writes up to 130, which is actually very nice to write it this way. Now, it's uh, very important when you buy SD cards that you have the right one, especially if you're using cameras uh, which record in 4K, what this uh, package is promoting, for example, and that you have the right speed. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you even a third card so, you, so I can prove to you that it's very important to make the right choice. Okay, let's dive into it and do the test. So the results are in for the SanDisk Extreme Pro and as you can see it states up to 200 megabytes a second but when you look up here you see the reading speed is 178 which is close in the end it, sta it states up to so the reading speed is nice but the writing speed is 102 megabytes a second that's not bad at all but when you buy a card expecting around 200 megabytes or at least 150 megabytes to write because you're using a 4K camera for example, then it's a little sad to see that it's actually half of it only 102 megabytes. Now let's see the Samsung and see how it will compare to it. Now we have the results for our Samsung Pro Plus SD card and as you can see it's 181 reading speed and 132 writing speed. So actually more than what they promise. And if we compare to the Extreme Pro you can see actually here they promise around up to 200 megabytes per second. And actually the read speed is slower, it's 178 compared to the Samsung which says it's 180. And the write speed actually yeah, compared to this is terrible because they say it's up to 200 and it's a more expensive card and it reads only 102 and this one reads 132 uh, more than they specify and it's actually more 32 percent increase and that's quite important that will make a difference when you use it in the black magic uh, camera for example this will work very well in the black magic pocket cinema camera not at the highest settings but at a lot of settings uh, it will work all right in 4k this one too but still it's a shame now i said i'm gonna i'm gonna test a third one for you and it's this one the evo plus now excuse me i already took it out of the box but as you can see here's a promise 130 megabyte a second and if you look to the results the reading speed is 133 which is very nice also more than what they promise and the writing speed is 124 megabytes per second more than what they promise on this sandisk extreme pro up to 200 megabyte it doesn't even reach 105 or 110 and this one actually a cheaper version of this samsung card reaches up to 124 megabyte per second and is also suited for 4k and very good in use because the reading speed doesn't matter when you use it in the camera it's a writing speed which is very important okay i hope you enjoyed this review in this uh, speed test uh, as you can see you have to be careful check the reviews check the speed tests online when you buy a certain card before you buy it do some research so you have the best bang for your buck this was the most expensive and the least performing actually those two are less expensive and this one performed very well and this one for its price tag and for the fact that it states 130 uh, and the fact that it works better than this one is very nice i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you like more tutorials like this just subscribe down below if you have questions write it down and hope to see you in the next video bye bye